Greetings all Shane Bruce, Resto Mod Daisy, and today we're going to take a look at shot tubes. Yeah, we've been doing parts videos because, hell, I got a lot of parts. First of all, let's take a look at the fabulous parlor plinker. Oh, she's nice. I'm shooting this gun every day. It is such a hoot. I'm going to make a video of that too, but I'm going to have to wait for my camera person to get back on board. Currently, I'm pursuing her own objectives, but she will be returning and returning soon. Okay, what we've got on the counter here today are a wide variety of shot tubes that are currently in the shop. Let's start down here with this, these little bad boys. These are Model 25 shot tubes, 50 round, spring loaded, old original tubes. Uh, they are most notably identifiable by the fact that they've got the, uh, well, here we go with the focus problem. Uh, they've got, well, as you can see, a very dirty, dusty uh, recessed crown muzzle and a very thin lip. It doesn't look, it looks somewhat like the uh, current shot too, but not uh, terribly similar. <laughs> well, it is terribly similar. It's exactly the same, except it's earlier tech. And as you can see from here, we have uh, folded steel bases and the 5 sixteenths coarse thread. Uh, three of these have the retention spring in place. This one does not. Uh, and the last one is a rattle trap gravity feed system. Uh, let's take a look at it. Like its earlier brethren, it has the recessed crown, very thin lip. But you'll notice this one does not have a retention spring. Or, hey, wait a minute, this is a lead shot. This does not have a provision for a retention spring. So this is an early, early shot tube designed for the uh, lead shot that Daisy used in the original guns. All right, let's move along. These are classic bottle caps. Uh, this group of four are all in some similar construction, but this group of four I believe to be wide channels. You'll notice down here that the uh, groove that the BB runs in is pretty, pretty wide as compared to uh, these guys over here. Of course, those may be all the same. Ah, who knows? I'm sure that there are uh, other folks out there in Daisy Land that could give us the scoop on them. Now, most of these are non-functional because they do not have the BB retention spring. Uh, the muzzle is a bit different, as you'll see on this one. This is what we normally refer to as a bottle cap uh, rattle trap shot tube. They've all got lightning loader levers at the front, or lightning loader tabs on the front in this group. And that was uh, an innovation in loading BBs that Daisy introduced with the 10839, and then it followed on to the Red Riders. As you can see, they're all about the same length. They're all, wait a minute, hold it. These are the wide channels down here. And as you can see, comparing that to this, that's a narrow channel, and these are wide channels. Now, I'm not sure which came first. I think maybe the wide channels preceded the narrow channels, but I'm not absolutely certain. These last two are examples of field expedient repairs. You'll notice that the button that keeps the BBs from falling out of the muzzle of the gun has been moved down the shot tube to secure the retention spring. Field expedient, it worked. Uh, it's debatable as to whether you need that button there on the Red Rider because the uh, lip of the muzzle cap itself prevents the BB from falling out. All right, let's move along. Now we've got a whole set of them, four of them, that don't have the lightning loaders. You'll notice there's no uh, tab there to prevent BBs falling out. So these were built for most likely uh, wide body daisies uh, because they did not feature that loading system. Construction is the same, 716 coarse thread, a thin retention screw. This one, of course, is missing that item. Eh, it's in rough nick anyway. And then we move down to these two guys. Hmm. Well, I'm wondering why I put them in a separate category. Oh, I didn't. I just bumped that around. So they're all the same, as you can see. Uh, right here, we have a shorter shot tube. The, this first version here is uh, set up for the uh, small boys, the 102, 101, 103s that were rattle traps. Uh, you'll notice there's not a lightning loader lip on it because they were top feed guns. This one here, the final one, is a uh, shot tube for a 118 target, excuse me, a 117 targeteer or a 118 targeteer. It fired a very special BB. It was even smaller than the regular BBs. Uh, they called these uh, 
air shot is what they refer to them as, and they were uh, built for their Daisy Parlor pistols. And the last of the group are custom fabricated uh, airsoft adapters. Uh, these will enable any of your, uh, well, the first two will enable any of the uh, rattle trap guns you might have to be, be converted over to fire single shot airsoft pellets, and that's kind of a hoot. Uh, I've done that with a couple of guns, built a couple of these. They're kind of fun, but they're slow. They're muzzle loaders. It's a different tempo. Okay, well, that was a test demo we were running. We'll probably put it up anyway because we're bad that way. Uh, about shot tubes here at the shop. And, of course, the fabulous partner, Plinker. Well, that's all we've got today for you, kids. This is Shane Bruce with Resto Mod Daisy signing off.